What's up, hunters? This is Kupchi! And Tofu. Yeah. yeah! We're going to Hunter Hunter episode number 122 and 123, Pose and Name. So we got our new favorite character. Yuppie. Yuppie from Tofu. Okay, it's not personally my favorite character. We still don't know what's going on with Palm, okay? She's been like MIA for a really long time and it feels like forever. It does. Yeah. But all right, guys. Thank you guys so much for joining us. We're going into two episodes today. Now, before we start, so I know a lot of people have been requesting you guys wanted 125 and 126 together. We will be putting 125 and 126 and 124 will be separate just so that we can fit the 25 and 26. Because I guess it's just so badass. <laughs> Kimchi, you got to watch both of them. Trust me, okay? Because I know we messed up on the last one with 116 and 117. So. Yes. We'll get that correctly, but thank you guys so much. Tofu, are you ready? I'm ready. Let's go and start the show. You can't destroy Yupi now. <laughs> it's not even about strength or anything. It's because he's not a bad guy. Man, it's so weird seeing Nov like this. Right? Crazy. <laughs> oh, oh, look at that. Those are like the two legendaries in a dragon. Are we going to see them fight? It's so quiet. <laughs> Netero's like, dude, I gotta figure this guy out while we're on this transportation. Oh, is this the battleground? Is this where it's gonna... Oh, yep. Oh. Oh, oh shoot. Hold on. Hold on. Wait. Wait. These guys are gonna fight today on today's episode? I guess so. Look how fast they dropped. Oh my god, dude. It's going down today. <laughs> we don't oh. need to restrain ourselves. Just dude, just go all out. Let's entertain us. Huh? <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. They caught me off guard. His face. He's me like, too. what? <laughs> Dude, are you assuming that Netero cannot win? Yeah, you know yeah. nothing about this guy. Oh. <laughs> uh, he changed his mind. Few humans worth keeping alive. Komogi. Oh, mm -hmm. Netero worthy too. Wait, the king is willing to wait, spare wait. his life. Spare his life? What? Netero is not gonna take it because you have to spare all the humans' life. Oh my God! Look at look at that stance. Oh, Netero! Oh, dude, I'm not ready for this. Oh shoot! I just realized he's just wearing socks. <laughs> dude, who do you shoes when you're Netero? Don't answer wrong. How can you answer correctly when you got this this man? Okay, I'm gonna call him man. <laughs> Staring at your soul. Oh, she oh. told him everything, the whole detail. Wow, she couldn't she didn't know how to answer that uh -uh. like accurately. Oh wait, his eyes. Uh oh. Are... They're not as angry. Oh, oh man, he... poof. Oh, this is his actual feeling, but he's putting on a show. <laughs> he's gonna go south. Or, yep, and oh, there he spy. goes. Yep. Those are so cute. <laughs><笑>なんだよ、ユーシノ。なんだよ。例えばお前たちの釈迦はばりに致し切りである。高いの右では子供が飢えて死ぬ。何もしない苦事だぜ。<笑> Wow, that's an interesting way of putting it. So this is his version of uh, world peace. I mean, equality. Damn, what's Netero doing? God damn, I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared of Netero more than the king. <laughs> Me too. To protect the weak. Wait. He's like oh. trying to become a hero? What? What? <laughs> Dude, look at him. He's not buying anything. Dude, I was wow. just about to say, like, did they just come all the way here just to say he's not gonna fight him? He's giving him commands already. Man, come hold on. here. This is like ants and humans. Yeah, so it doesn't matter. Like, at this point, he's just, he has to kill him no matter what. Yes. Oh. oh, so you're trying to blame it on the hunters or say that the hunters are the uh, responsible for all this. Yes, because he kind of feels for what the ant is saying. The yeah, I mean, that's it. He's open, open mind. Because he knows how power works. 
Whoa! Holy! Oh! Oh, he's using oh. his move again. Whatever he did, it's like it changed the whole atmosphere. And stopped like, time. Oh, look at the king! It, it's Is like he's frozen. frozen, or he did stop time. Oh! Whoa. Oh! Oh! oh. It's like a big sun. Ha! Huh. It's getting bigger. It's not stopping. Dude, tell me it's the golden Buddha. Yeah, it is. There, there it is. There it is. I have so long to wait to see this. Wow. Ooh. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, it looks like a bug. 100 type Guan Yin Bodhisattva. I can't even say it. Oh, oh my God. He's going to attack already. Oh, shit. It's going down today. <laughs> Dude. Oh, he's fighting with the Buddha. Yeah, that's what he's doing. Oh, shit. Oh wait, he crushed him. The Buddha looked like us. Like he looks like a centipede. Holy cow! Yeah, we got to see it firsthand. We got to see it. <laughs> it's so funny. Like bug. they both changed, and they're like, "Dude, what happened to you?" It's like, "No, what happened to you?" <laughs> yeah. Oh, and he's gonna tell them everything what's happening. Oh wow, hmm? Yuppie. No, oh, and. Poof is, yeah, of course. Poof is saying, oh my god, not only physical form, but you've grown inside too. But the change in Pito will change the king? Will affect but the king? But benefit the king. Benefit. What is that supposed to mean? Is Poof trying to go against Pito? Oh. Yeah, dude. You know, Poof always has got some things planned up. Wow, he doesn't even feel oh. uh, comfortable with how they turned out to be. No, he's scared of them. And he got wings too. Uh, like, okay, he's a griffin now. He's gonna be a flying horse. Oh wow! This guy just so gets cool. more beautiful every every episode. Wait, he's going for to the king? He's going to the king. Oh wait, but, oh my god! Yeah, they worry for the king. They want to go to the king, whereas Pito was saying. King just went on his own will. Leave him alone. Oh, shoot. What? Dude, Ooh, it got... Oh, my change. God. It got bigger. It's... Oh, no, no. Never mind. It's the same thing, but... Damn, it looks cool. You think the king got a scratch? Is he bleeding? No. Oh, he is. Wow, look at that huge crater he made. <laughs> dude, oh, Dang. no. Grandpa's like, he's toes. Like, oh, no, dude. This is not a good sign. Uh, oh. Oh. He's going back to He's, the talking. He sat back down. Whoa. He doesn't repeat himself. Not at all. What are you going to do? He's going to attack again. Should he sit with the king or should he be doing this? Netro knows what he has to do. Third hand. Third hand. What's the third hand going to do? It's a freaking slap. Oh, oh no. It's a clap. Oh, what? No. Oh, my God. It's like a freaking coming out of a butt. Oh, my gosh. Look at him. He's mad. Oh, yeah. He's freaking mad. Dude, I don't want to see Netero like this, man. No. Oh, no. Not this freaking face expression. Oh, my God. So this is still nowhere near the king's. <sighs> oh, no. This is not good. <laughs> that no. is not good. And he's sitting back down. <laughs> dude, it's oh. like, dude, your attack's so weak. The only way you can change him is by words. All right. It's a war oh of my words. God. What is this? Fifth hand, sixth hand? Third times the charm. By using words. Words. Yes. Talk. War of words. What? That's exactly what he wanted to know is his name. What's going on? Why? He knows his name. She she was saying the king's name. As she was that's dying, Meruem, Meruem, Meruem. And that's why he doesn't know. <laughs> Look at that smirk he has. What Whoa! is he doing? What? Wait, he, wait. Is he copying Netero's move? No, no, no. It's a different stance, but... <sighs> Checkmate. No way. What did you get yourself into? Oh. Wait, Netero, this is Netero He's going full back. power. Whoa! Oh, oh come on. Wow. This is a real battle. Yeah. Da -da -da -da. King Wash. 
slap. Finally, we got to see the Golden Buddha. We did. Yeah. I didn't expect King and um, Netero today. I, yeah, I wasn't expecting them to fight wow. yet either. And the thing is, Netero actually got two preemptive strike on King. And King wasn't even like on a defense mode, nothing. No. Like he got two direct hits on him. And then this guy's like sitting back down. It's like, bro, you going to talk or not? Yeah, you know? it was nothing to him. I think this is something really crazy going on in this episode because, I mean, for like, of course, this 25 minute episode, I feel like something big is happening because the way the king's talking now, his motive is not about just wiping out human, but it's about this equality. He wants to bring equality to the humans. It makes sense to me because uh, if you remember back when the queen was forming him as a king, he was made from the leader of that group. Mm -hmm. And that leader was born poor. He had nothing. His dad abused him. He was like abused everything. So he knew like the worst of the worst. And so I and think, he knew the best of the best. And he knew the best of the best. And then also with Komogi, he knows she comes from a very poor family. You know, she she has nothing. She's the bread maker, all of that stuff. And so he can see like it's not fair to have like these two separate things. Like what is this? So he wants that equality. He doesn't want this middle ground and he's willing to destroy stuff to make it so that it's possible. And Netero's side, he's saying that humanity needs to pre prevail over the ants. Yes. Right? That's all that matters to him, even though he can see where the king is coming from. I mean, the king is becoming human. Yes. You know, he's starting to get this human trait saying like he's ha having compassion passion like he's fighting for like almost like democracy or something netro he says he doesn't want to fight with words he doesn't want to listen to him because uh he knows that it's getting grayish now because he has to fight him because they have to destroy the ants he can't listen to him even though the words that he's saying he understands it just like what the higher-ups are telling him hey kill the ants and take the blame for it right right it's, it's the classes it's the levels so it's like who's right here i mean who's i mean at this point, nobody's correct. Yeah. There's no right answer right there, now. There isn't a right answer. It, because it sucks because some people are born poor and there's nothing that they can do about being born poor except maybe changing the way things are. But in like certain countries, that's not possible. Right. Whereas America, you know, you can make that possible. You can work hard and find a way out of it. So like depending on like here, it's like, okay, depending on how hard you work or how smart you are, you can be wealthy and you can, you know, earn that respect and wealth. So, like, I can understand, like, you know, having your own space and stuff. But when it comes to, like, somewhere there, like, where they're saying, oh, they're just marking their territory of the poor people get out and, like, they're just, like, disgusting about it. I, I Like, it, I can see both points. Yeah, I mean, I can I can understand where Meadow Women is coming from. Yes. So it's like I'm I'm here in a position where it's like all this time I'm like, yeah, we got to go get the king. We got to go kill the king. And all of a sudden they're having this talk. And for a second, the dragon dive is the one that actually killed or almost killed Komugi, which yes. was from Netero. And he yes. still wanted to talk to Netero. Yeah. That shows Ooh, a lot yeah. for the king. because that does. He held back. I mean, as of now, the king is becoming more human than Gon. If that happened to Komugi or Kite, whatever, let's exchange Ko Kite and Komugi. Yeah. Kon sitting there thinking of ways to kill Pito and King sitting there to th uh, talk, wanting to talk to him. They're both sitting in the you same stance. I same stance. That. Yeah. They're both in the same stance, but they ho both have a... Different I mean, mindset. Well, um, yeah, they It's do. a totally 100%, 100 billion percent different mindset. It the way is. King is going... And the way Gon is going, they're both almost the same thing. Where at least you know, wait, Gon no. even thinks Kite can be can be resurrect or can be saved, right? Yeah. So we know for sure that Kite is not hundred percent dead. Well, from Gon's point of view. Yes. So it's just they're both the same thing. Yeah, it's both the same thing. Yeah, it is actually. It yeah, is. because but, Kite. Uh -huh. But Gon wants to fight it out, whereas the King wants to talk it out. That's why I'm saying King is becoming more human than Gon. Yeah. He's being more rational than Gon. Yeah, he is. That's in, that's incre that's insane. I didn't even think about that. I mean, at this point, who's the villain? Who is the villain? What yeah. is who is who's considered the villain in this situation? I mean, the king was the villain at first because before he wasn't looking at the humans. 
he just was looking at them, like he said, as livestock, but then he had a change of heart, mm -hmm. he had a change of mind. And so now he's looking like a decent human being, but before he was just looking like an ant, like a destroyer of all. He's going to wipe out everybody. Right. So it, it's really difficult because he already did make a mistake from the start, a huge mistake. So what? how can you come back from that? From like what he did in the past? Yeah, from what he did. He has all those people hung up in the tree. <laughs> how That's do you, true. I mean, it's he like, killed the ruler, made him a puppet. I don't know how you can come back from that. I don't. But I don't know. I don't know. And that's why Netro is saying, I just need to kill you right now before I hear anything else. Because yeah, because I, before I start changing my mind. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. That's why he started. That's why Netro kept on attacking. Yes. That's right. Because he can't change his mind because this guy has already done what he's done. The damage is done. Right. And if he doesn't kill him, the blame is on the Hunters Association and it can come out even worse. Right. So he's stuck. That's crazy. It is. Yeah. Now, Poof playing with who's my favorite? Yuppie. Poof playing with Yuppie. Trying to see how Yuppie thinks because he sees the change in Yuppie and Pito. And he's wondering how they're working. Because he's scared because Pito's already saying, don't worry about the king. He can do, he can handle it on his own. Whereas they're there to protect the king. They've been on radar they've been babysitting him this whole time and all of a sudden she's just saying leave him alone and so he's like okay what is yuppie's mindset ah uh, that's right and then but yuppie went yuppie yeah went. yuppie went with him yes that guy is evolving every freaking episode <laughs> he he's getting more beautiful yeah i like him <laughs> right? i like him so much he's yeah. very devoted to the king but he has like a good heart he's not like this crazy guy like poof man what's up with the that little about the name with the king. The king, because he knew exactly what the king wants to know. I don't know how he found that out, but unless he's been spying on him. I feel, <gasps> I feel, what? Yeah, spying on him. You remember there was that one bird that came that was over there when he, when the king was talking to Pito and the guards. Yeah. And then the, afterwards the bird went and attacked yeah. Komogi. Do you think that's how he knows? What? Because it was the so ironic name? that the king no. wants to know his name. Oh, the king wants to know his name. Because during those scenes was when that bird was in one spot and then all of a sudden went to the other spot. That's kind of weird, but I don't see them trying to attack Komugi on purpose unless they're trying to test oh. him. I, I don't know with the bird. I don't know. All but, I know is the bird just got swiped. Well, all I know is it's interesting that Netro knows what the king wants to find out. Yes, find out, but also I feel like Netero's playing some kind of game he with is. him. Like he's playing s something with the king, mm -hmm. right? And I, I think Netero realized like this is this guy is actually a lot stronger than I thought. Yeah. So he's kind of rubbing the the wrong way. Not the wrong way, but I think he he's got to him where he feels the most about the name. Mm-hmm. And I think, yeah. Yeah, he feels sensitive about it. He's like, okay, I know what you want to hear. So I'm going to use this to prod you to do what I want you to do, which is fight me. I don't want to have a war of words. I want you to fight me. So here, you want your name? Fight me. Right. Yeah. Wait, something is up with Netero. Hmm. He's Space pushing him, but for something. He has something planned, but I don't know what. Force you to admit defeat without killing you. Hunter exams. I surrender. That's what oh. he, that's why he's keep going like this. He's playing his game. Okay. He. So he's playing Netero's game now. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Oh yeah. But then the king knows uh Kungi, so <laughs> he's the, smart. Yeah, the king knows it. Oh my god, dude, this is gonna be so amazing, yeah. dude. Oh, dude, oh. we're seeing Netero's like 1,000%. So he doesn't want to be killed, but he wants to fight I him? have no idea what it is, but Netero is playing... Uh, Netero is make, having King play his own game. Why does he want the King to do that? Is it because he doesn't want to get killed, but he wants to see the King's strength because the King wouldn't fight him? Is that what it is? I don't know. You don't know? I honestly don't know. Netero has something up his sleeve, for sure. That's... Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Like... His face is just all up about... 
<laughs> Whoa, look at all those people lined up. My goodness. Not a single soul in sight. Please tell me this palm. Palm? Or is that octopus? Yeah, Icargo! Garages. Oh, he's still crying. <laughs> he's still crying. <laughs> he's not crying. He's oh. sobbing. All right. Just stick him in the truck. Who's this? These guys. Oh. Yep. They're going to be like, what the hell just happened in here? Oh, gosh. And they're going to see this. Oh, but they don't care. No. But now the air is going to be released. Freaking lobster is going to come alive. Why are we seeing like the ants becoming more human than the humans right now, right? Yeah. I don't know. I think he's on the same level as Knuckles. <laughs> Where is Larry the Lobster? Oh, that sounds like... Oh. Oh! 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 Well, Finn. Why oh, is this guy no. back? Oh, man. This guy. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Why is it keep You're popping screwed. up? Dude. This guy just ruins everything. Don't tell me you're going to try and kill yourself. <laughs> Wait, is he scared? <laughs> <laughs> look at him, look at him, yeah. go. Oh, oh, he shot him. Oh, whoa. But why is Wolfen sounding like a wimp? No, no, what? no. No, wait, wait, wait. Hold on, what's did, going on? <laughs> he's Cargo's moving so fast. Hold die? on. His head. Oh, no, there's like four holes on it. What the heck? <laughs> What's going on? I dude, have no wait. idea. How did he turn into a wimp? Oh, Icargo did figure it out. Oh, shoot. That's why those missiles didn't hurt. Oh, that's why the missiles yeah. didn't hurt. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot his ability. Questions and answers. Oh, what's happening to his head? Ew. Oh, centipede. Oh, centipedes. this centipede. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, no. <sighs> There's bugs inside of his head. Oh. Oh, God, I can't. Black centipede. They grow on oh, feeding no. on the resistance. Oh, oh my man. God, he's in trouble. Oh, I can't. I'm sorry. Those bugs uh, in my... Uh. Oh, this freaking wolf, man. <laughs> Dude, he just straight up right away pointed back at him. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is like my worst fear. He's just letting them grow on him. Uh, oh, Wilfin, stop it. Uh, Are they going to blow up? I don't know. It looks like it, dude. But look at his face. No. He shot it. Oh, right oh. up his leg. Oh. He doesn't kill. Ikago doesn't kill. kill. But he's willing to kill himself. <laughs> <laughs> yes. He doesn't. Wilfin doesn't even want to kill him either. Oh, dude, he kind of go, holy cow, dude. Oh. oh. Oh, my God, look at his head. Dude, I would be going crazy mad laughing, too. Uh, if we got to that stage. Oh, dude, I seriously don't like Wolfen. I really don't like that guy. Dude, look at his head. Looks like it looks like Medusa now. Brainiac. Damn. Get rid of them, Wolfen, come on. I don't want Ikargo to die. Come on. He surrendered. Wait, so he's going to take a the oh, centipede. See? Oh. Is it really? I think he's like killing the centipede. Well, I don't think Wolfen can do anything because he can't use any of his uh, limbs. It's Wolfen super weak. <laughs> yeah, get rid of the bugs. Come on, man. Oh, he didn't kill it. He just no. uh, just let it stay, huh? Oh, he can't oh, deactivate he it? Way. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, now he's putting up an act. <sighs> oh, oh, now he's... Oh, my God. Shoot him in the foot and see if he's really Come on. sleeping. Yep. <laughs> yes, he's loading. <laughs> he knows. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shoot him in the foot. <laughs> Wait, so if he can't get rid of it, then... Are what? they stuck in there? What? Oh. So when he tells the truth, Wolfen's in pain. So maybe he can get rid of it by being honest? 
You think they knew each other when they were humans? No way. <laughs> he can tell by the centipedes. Yep. We'll see who which is Welfin. Oh, this him? is Welfin. That's him. It was during oh. this time. Yeah. And that's Welfin. Oh my gosh. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. Oh, that's his oh. father. So he was abused as a kid too. He was saved. Oh, uh, not related brother. Gyro? Remember Gyro? Oh. This guy? Yeah. Gyro saved him? Yeah, I guess Gyro's the one that brought him in. Oh. And they're gone. Oh, he killed him. If only he knew it's the king. Wow, he's just like, I don't care. Mm -mm. At this point, he just wants to see Gyro. The one person he cares about. So oh, he was he watching him this, this whole time. time. Yeah. So he heard him crying too. So that's why he used that missile thing against him. <laughs> he shot. Yeah. He fired. Palm. Oh, what happened palm. to Palm? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, huh. they call it number one. Number what one. What the hell does number one mean? Oh no. Oh, so he always hasn't been telling the truth though. He's been lying to himself this whole time. That's why he's always been like careful with every what everyone says. He's always like, but what if? What if? What if? Yeah, he can never trust anybody. All right, we're finally seeing Palm, right? What is this? I don't know, but she says uh, he said she's number one. She looks like a moldy potato. <gasps> oh. oh my god, look at her freaking oh, arm or her no. hat. Oh my god, it is palm. Oh no. Oh. It's palm. No! She got caught. Why? That's Why just do too bad. Freaking Hunter is always like up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. But they made her really pretty. At least she's not some ugly looking bug. <laughs> like an ugly looking bug? Yeah. She still kept like somewhat of her form. She just looks scaly now. She purple. does, right? She looks like a mermaid or something. Yes. Ah, oh, dude. So Palm did get caught by P2. Or one of the guards, right? Yeah, one of and the guards. She got cocooned. And she's number one. What do you mean? Form. What does that what does that even mean? Number I one. I don't know. It must be like they're testing something on her. She's a test subject. A test subject? No! <laughs> Why? Dude? No to that, but I feel like Togashi just knows who, who I like and he just knows the future. He's just like, I know what they like. Uh, oh, he likes Palm? All right, rid of her. You really you like, like Palm kite? that much? Get rid of her. I know you like Kite, but I didn't know I, you like Palm that okay. much. I love Kite. Uh, the reason one thing I really loved about Palm was just how they made her character. Uh -huh. So it's like, first she came in as like this really creepy... At first when I saw Palm, I was like, who is this so random person just came out of nowhere? Like, what is this? Some kind of filler or something, right? Yeah. And then we see Palm on the next stage where like we see her little character development and then we see the change, total change into yes. you know, the date. The date. She's the normal pretty girl. Yeah, normal pretty girl. And then she went back into her old self. And then when Nov comes, you know, she falls. She's like She swinging. changes. Yeah. Yeah. She, yeah, she changes her appearance. Appearance. Not appearance. No. She First she loved Gon and then now she loves Nov. Oh, yeah. Like, that too. I'm saying like she, her heart changes. Oh, so it easily. Sways. sways. Okay. okay, sways. I guess that's the right word. Yeah. And then when I found out that Pong was coming in, like she was more than just a creepy girl. She was more than just a girl who just loves like boys or something. It became more than that. Like, she was there. So she shut down everything about herself that, uh -huh. you know, the whole creepy palm. Yes. And she threw that away and, and she came into this job for a specific mission. Like, yeah. to me, that's very honorable and respectful for to see palm like that. It's, I don't know. Do you understand what I'm saying? 
Yeah, she has a professional side to her. Yeah, there, okay, I think that's the easiest, simplest way to say it. Yeah. She has, sorry, I'm like dragging this and I, I don't know what I'm saying, but she has a very professional side in her that I did not expect yes. that made me fall in love with it more. It's like that with other shows as well, where you'll see me like a certain character mm -hmm. where a troll character comes out who's all fun, hee hee, ha ha, so super troll. But like Zenitsu from Demon Slayer and... Oh yeah, but then he can get real serious real fast. Yeah, so when it comes down to it, when it comes to serious, like, mm -hmm. profession... It snaps right into it, yeah. Yeah, it's like they're, they're very professional about it. And that's what I really love, the fact that a character like Palm is entering the NGL or this thing yes. without me worrying that, why is she going? It uh -huh. makes me feel like... Oh my god, she's gonna be there. She's gonna play the perfect part for this. She's gonna play the perfect disguise. Only to know that she's gonna be freaking becoming a molded potato. <laughs> a moldy potato. Yeah. But whereas Kite, Kite was more of like, I really loved that guy. Yeah. Like I Kite, loved him. Kite, we had more of like a like yeah. a personal, you know. Yeah. Like a relationship. Not like a relationship, never mind. Like uh, yeah. I just I, I just love the this Whatever. I don't know. You yeah, you like her. You just like No, I'm her talking character. about Kite. Oh, and him. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you liked his development. I just liked everybody here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I like everybody except Wolfen. But I mean at the same time, I guess Wolfen, we get to see his side of the story and then at the end I did kinda see that Wolfen was going to help the humans. Yeah. Just because of what he said the last time. Like he was confused, like what the heck is going on? Mm -hmm. But um now I know that he's like, forget all of that. It's just him and Gyro. And who would yes. have thought that he had the closest connection with Gyro this whole time? I know. Out this of is... all the people, it was Gyro. Right? And if he finds out, I don't think he's going to find out because he's just laying there. <laughs> yeah, that's true. So poor. I, f I feel bad for Welfin now. You do? Yeah, because like, he doesn't care. He's just, just the way that he was, was because of his past. And like, when he's true to himself, like, he's, like, a very good person. Why is it that the more you watch, you're starting to get more invested into the ants? <laughs> and then, like, the humans are becoming, like, whoa, hold on, let, let's slow down here, guys. I think it's because they do very good character development. Yeah, I think that's that's the, the character development in Hunter x Hunter is amazing. Yeah. I mean, it, it is amazing. I've watched a lot of shows, and, you know, uh, the character development in villains, I see a lot, like, here and there. Yes. But Hunter x Hunter is it's a, little, it's a lot different. I mean, the because at first they might, at first... They, show, they might show a, a character that might be looking like an extra or, you know, it's yes. just like he just comes in here and there and that's it. We'll never see him again. But that person, even if it looked like an extra, will become something bigger later on in the yes. future. And that's what I really love about this show. Yeah. So it's like whatever character you see, you can't just be like, okay, just ignore it. It's like now I have to really pay attention to that character mm -hmm. and be like, ah, so, okay, I'm going to keep my eye on this character. Yes. Or I'm going to keep my eye on that character. Because later on, what he does is there's a reason for every single character that's shown in this show. Except for Koala. Koala, Oh, yeah, done. Koala. What the heck happened they to that show guy? About, yeah, they show how cool he is and then he disappears. Maybe he's just like a troll character. He's just I guess. like, right? Yeah. He was fun, though. He was fun. All right, guys, that was 123. Uh, not 120. 122 and 123. Uh, tomorrow will be 124 and the next one will be 25 and 26 put together. Yes. So hope you guys get ready for that. Thank you guys very much and we'll see you next time. Yes, we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.